Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Tanya Lady T and I am finally on to redo the Shawnee lipsticks. These are the Slick and Shine lipsticks um, that I was telling you about um, that I was going to do a review on because I have very, very dry lips. Let me tell y'all how dry my lips are. My lips are so dry that I bought Polly's Foreign to put on my lips because it's it's a healing agent in here. It's all, it's Neo's Foreign by the same company, but this is Polly's Foreign because it has some antibiotic um, agents in there to help with just uh, healing the skin. So this is the only thing that I have found that gives me any type of dry lip relief. And I'm, I'm probably going to have to try doing exfoliation on my lips, but in the interim, I wanted to see if I could find a product that would help me in this matter. So, I had put up a few videos. Um, you know how we surf on, you know, YouTube. And I saw a couple of videos. And I apologize. I don't remember the YouTubers' names. Because, I, like I said, I watched several videos. And I said, okay, I'm going to give it a try. So, anyway, I went ahead on and purchased the 12 lipsticks and I went directly to the Shawnee website and they were 50, they're on sale for $15 and I checked yesterday and they're still on sale for $15 um so it's really a good deal um I've already tried these on and all of them they do go on very nice and smooth and velvety there's a few light colors that I don't particularly care for but I find that I can just mix it with a darker color to give an ombre look. And I think I will be fine. But anyway, I just wanted to try these few on for you. So if you too have dry lips and problems in that area, um, ladies, let's get on the hunt and let's share <laughs> some of the things that we can uh, do to help in that area. And it may not be a cure for dry lips because... Your pen just dies off and recreates itself on a day-to-day -day basis. So anyway, I just need something that's going to, you know, not just always a gloss, but actually a lipstick that gives me color along with giving me a moisture feeling. So anyway, I went ahead on since I've already, you know, did this video one time and I had to take it down because of copyright because I had music playing in the background. Didn't even dawn on me that... Um, it would be picked up, but it, it was so these are numbered. Um, they do not have a name. Um, so they're just all numbered. And of course the color sticker on the bottom is a depiction of what the shade is, uh, the shade of the lipstick is. So like I said, it's one through 12 and, um, let's get started. Okay. Number one is, and I hope y'all can see that, it showed really good while it was sitting in the box. This is number one. Like I said, there's no names to it. And it's a pretty, and the way that light is shining on them, it may be, yeah, with it with the light not shining on it so bright. It actually gives the true color. Now, this is a beautiful orange. And like I said, I've already tried these on. So, I'm going to try this one on so you all can see. And like I said, mm, goes on extremely smooth. Isn't that a beautiful color? And that's number one. Yes, love it. Okay, I took, I'm gonna be taking pictures. So if anybody wants to see them up close, um, I'll do the little steel shots at the end. Okay, let's go on to color number two. This is number two. Okay, and like I said, the color on the bottom depicts the color of the lipstick. Now this is the one that that was that was on when I tried it on. It was very chalky, so I'm just gonna swatch that. And it's just a really light colored beige. See that? 
And this is one of those colors that you're going to be able to perhaps mix with something else. A darker color. This one here is number three. And again, it's a, it's almost like a pink beige. Y'all can see that. Beautiful color. And this is a color, again, this is something that you can mix. Um, and I'll just swatch that one as well. That's that color here. Y'all can see that. Yeah. Okay, and also real quickly, I guess I should have done this in the beginning. It comes in a very nice case. It's got the name Sh Shani or Shawnee on it. I'm not sure how they pronounce that. And it's got like a little um, little filigree uh, design on it. Okay, it's a black case. It's a matte black case. And then it's got a silver trim, which separates the opening and the base of the lipstick. So nice packaging. Okay. Okay, number four. This one is looks like it's like a light color cashmere. Okay. That's a pretty color. We're going to try that one on. I think that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. And again, these do go on nice and velvety. Mm. That's beautiful. I like that. Very nice and subtle, but gives you a hint of a almost like a sienna rosewood undertone. That's a beautiful color. That's number four. Okay, let's go to number five. This is number five. Okay, let's see. And this is almost looks like a sort of a chalky color. It's like a very light pale pink salmon color. And we'll just swatch that one. And again, it's that one on the top. And I could see mixing this with a hot pink and putting this in the middle part of your lips. That would be pretty. That's number five. Number six is almost in the same color family, but it's just a tad darker. It's got a little bit more rose in it. Okay. That's what that looks like. That's beautiful. Beautiful color. You know I got to try that one on. Oh yeah, this is like a light, true pink, and it goes on very smooth. Like that one. It's not a heavy pigment, but just enough to give you that pink pop. Love that color. Okay, that was number six. And number seven, before I should go on to number seven, I wanted to just show you in the box, each lipstick is perforated and has its own little square compartment. So that's really good. So you can actually keep this in this box if you choose to. So it's almost like its own little lipstick case. Now I do like that. Okay, this is number seven. And these colors are getting, you know, a little bit darker as we go in numeric order okay and that's like a really pretty true hot pink color shows better right up there on my skin at a distance yeah that's pretty we're gonna try that one on Oh yeah. Well, that one is beautiful. Mm. That one went on nice and smooth. Beautiful color. 
and this is the true color mm, I like this one this is gorgeous this is number seven okay let's go to number eight again they get a little bit darker as we go down the line and ooh, look at that y'all that's like almost like a deep berry hot pink that's beautiful I can see that gotta try that one on And they seem to come right off. They're not staining my lips too bad. I, I think probably as we get to the more pigmented colors, they may have a few, a little staining, but you know, let's do it. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm. And they really do go on very velvety smooth. Love this color, beautiful. Okay, let's go on to the next one because I don't want to make this a 30 minute video. Okay. Now this is a lighter color. This is like a peach color or peachy beige. And uh, this is number nine. And that's that color. It almost looks gold. Let's just do a swatch of that. That's a pretty color. I'm almost wanting to try that on. Let's try that one on. I want to see what that one looks like. I love light colors. I've really gotten into the light colors, nude lips, almost like a nudie color. See, make sure all that's off. Okay. Oh yeah, this is very nice, very sheer. Sorry if y'all can see up my nostrils. Oh, I love this. This is very sheer. And gives you just a pop of color. Mm, I like that. Number 10. Okay. Show you the bottom. This is number 10. And this is like a deeper peach sandalwood type color that's beautiful we're gonna try that one on uh, I'm loving this already oh I love this Oh, yes. Love this. Very nice and smooth. If you want don't want a whole lot of color, this is the one. Love this one. Oh, it's falling off the track. Uh-oh, flim flam. This one seems to be falling off the track. So when I tried to screw it down, Let's see. Okay, it went down. It's off the track, so I have to be careful with that one. So, so that's what happens sometimes with lipsticks. Get off the track. And this one's number 11. Ooh, this is a pretty, like a brownish pink or mauve color brownish mauve that's almost this color is just a tad bit darker let's try that oh yeah 
and very close. Mm, I like this color too. This is gorgeous. Again, a, a nude color, but gives you a pop of color. Coral, sandalwood color. And like I said, this is pretty similar to number 10. If you look at 10 and 11, I mean, as far as the comparisons in the color dot, they're almost identical. One's just a little bit darker than the other. Okay, and the last one, the last one, this one is number 12, of course. And, ooh, this is pretty. This is almost like a magenta color. Love that. So, of course, I got to try it on again. Okay. Oh yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Now I must say y'all, these lipsticks do feel very soothing. They glide on beautifully. Mmm. Love this color. This one's beautiful. Mm, love it. This is number 11. Excuse me. This is the last one. This is number 12. So anyway, I think they're worth it. Um, Just for the fact that you get some really nice colors. Some nice blendable colors. Yeah. So anyway, I hope this uh, video was helpful and I hope that um, you find that these lipsticks are moisturizing. I bought this on my own. There's nothing paid for or anything like that. I went directly to Shawnee on their website and ordered it and um, it came pretty quickly. Um, I just, it, you know, I've been so busy. I just hadn't had an opportunity to get on and just, you know, do a review on them. Um, I'm going to wear them continuously just to see if I get a good moisture factor. But like I said, I've only wore them one time and it was just, and honestly, it was just to do the first video that I had to take down. But um, I'm hoping, again, you want the color, but I'm hoping and praying that it does pay off as far as moisture. Like I said, it is extremely silky, moisturizing, just like it says on the, on the box. Um, so yeah, these are the Shawnee slick and shine lipsticks and it does give you a little shine it gives you a pop of color they go on very smooth and so we'll see what happens in probably the next 30 days um i had to get rid of all them cheap lipsticks um and because i'm thinking maybe that was a contributor to my dry lips so hopefully we'll see what happens with that it's a good deal i mean you get 12 lipsticks for 15 bucks uh, you know a little over a dollar a piece so hey can't beat that anyway i'm tired i've been out all day i hope everyone has a fabulous memorial holiday everyone be safe have fun with your family um but your girl's tired but i do hope that this um review brought you some type of knowledge into the product i'll leave all the descriptions of the site of where you can go and purchase it if that's what you want to do and as always Thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, tell people about my channel. I love you and may the peace of the Lord be with you. God bless. Bye.